Um, the biggest thing is this, more young women need to get married at a younger age and start having kids. The, uh, the single woman issue is one of the biggest issues facing the civilization. Today we're going to be reacting to Charles Kirk explain why liberal women are miserable. Well, see, I, I think there are a lot of reasons, but let's hear this out. And for to be honest, I love the way Charlie Kirk actually makes his point. Like, it makes sense. But guys, if you're new here, just to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let's get straight into this. Men are turning more, uh, were proven to be more, more, right more, more uh, conservative, but the women are suffering out here. So I would like to know, um, I'm involved with TP USA, and I want to know what it is that I can do when I'm around women um, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, which yeah. I'm battle born in this battleground state. And I would like to know what I can do uh, to start to change minds with love. And Why do you think women are, are so liberal? You know, it's I, I watched you on the on the, the whatever. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just it's it's so hurtful to see, you know, how they are sexually and how it's just so, you know, OK. And I think that a lot of them are suffering. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of father issues there. A lot of daddy issues for daddy sure. Issues. Yeah. Um, so look, I, I, I'm not an expert in how to win over young women for conservatism. Um, the biggest thing is this, more young women need to get married at a younger age and start having kids. The, uh, the single woman issue is one of the biggest issues facing the civilization. Yeah. We have more single women in our, the early thirties that are the most depressed, suicidal, anxious, lonely in America's history because there's a biological clock that's going off and they realize that they're not going to be able to have kids and that they're not as desirable in the dating market or in the dating pool and so they start to lash out on the rest of society so date like you're gonna marry i guess that's gonna be well yeah easy. just get married early like stop reject the siren song of modernity and have lots of kids Absolutely. like being a partner at a local law firm actually isn't that big of a deal having three kids is a really big deal and will make you happier and it's okay to be a stay-at-home mom in fact we need a lot of stay-at-home moms and a lot of women want to be stay-at-home moms and we have miserable women because we've been shuffling them into a corporate wasteland when in reality a lot of them don't find a lot of passion or fulfillment in that line of work and who can blame them yeah, exactly thank God you. Bless you appreciate thank it thank you, so thank you. guys this is true and i'll say this i honestly believe that women should be uh, i i i love the way he said that so women don't want to work but there are also women that want to work and i will not say women should be dependent on their husband because what if you divorce that's the then maybe he he runs away and you are left with the children and it's heartbreaking. I, I, my mom trained me so I understand where a woman have to fend for a child, like her children. Like it's, it's, it's wild. Like it's, it's stressful. And for you to see a woman who wants to walk to fend for her children without sleeping around is actually hard. Women, I will not say women, but I feel people like doing things the easy way. But the hard way pays better, but like the easy way just comes faster. That's just it. And I'll say this. Women should get married early. I'll, I'll, I feel like before 25, like be married, like before 25. And my sister had this benchmark and like she wanted to get married at 23. But like my uncles were like, nah, chill, finish school first and stuff like that. Then once she finished, she got married 25, like few days to her birthday. And it was crazy. And now she has to get, and I feel she is fulfilled. I honestly believe that you getting married at an early stage is amazing. Why? Because I honestly believe that it gives you this kind of fulfillment when you see, when you see your product, like this is my child. Like I, I want to feel like that. Like this is who I brought into this world. Now I have to nurture him in a way that I believe that things that I was not able to learn fast. Thing that I felt that if I had when I was young, I would be better. Like, I want to pack this knowledge on this child. Like, he can grow up and be a better version of me. Like, way, way better version of me. Keeping in mind his goals and things he actually wants to do. But, like, I would just add mine to it. Like, see, I understand where your parents want to choke you with their ideas. It's just that they feel, what if this happened, like, you're going to be amazing. Like, I honestly wanted to do this, but I couldn't. Now I want you to do it because I just want to see how it will feel like. I honestly believe that you'd be great while doing it. And I understand that this is why I'm doing construction because my mom 
wants me to do it. And seriously, I really don't have passion. I will not say I don't have passion for the course. The course is actually an amazing course. Like it's, it's a course where you, you read and you smile because you see it literally everywhere. Everybody's putting up buildings, like roads, like you understand how the structure works. It's actually an amazing course. But like, I'm honestly doing it because of my mom. If not, I honestly believe that I'll do marketing or like psychology. I feel, I, I really love marketing though. I will still do it. Like it's something I have passion for. But guys, don't worry to about this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Then what you two women should be doing at this time and age. Like for me, I believe most women are getting it all wrong, but there are still some who are getting it right that we have to clap for them. Like they are doing their best. But guys, I'll see you next time, guys, first.